Hello everyone, we're back again with automation. This time I'm going to show you how we can automate a large portion of your content process within minutes. But before I dive into how you can set up an automation like this step by step, let me show you how it looks. So we are using uh, make.com. We have just launched our make.com integration here. And the only thing you need for this video is just uh, a make.com account and text cortex account and that's it. You need to uh, connect Google Sheets and Text Cortex in one sequence, one automation sequence. And the only thing you need to do is just to have a, a Google Sheets with the relevant columns and rows, and that's it. And as you can see in this video, all of these uh, article names, based on these article names, we are generating, Text Cortex is generating respective blog articles with the info it has and that's pretty much it and let me show you how we got here step by step once you create a new automation you will just see this screen with nothing much basically you will only see a plus icon and that's it and you first need to find a trigger for uh, for your automation to get started and that in this case uh, that will be google sheets we will be using google sheets and we want it uh, to watch new rows added to our sheets that we specify. And you have to uh, connect your Google account. I already uh, have my Google account connected and you will see, you, you need to specify which spreadsheet uh, is going to be used for this automation. And in this case, let me uh, quickly specify my uh, showcase spreadsheet and you can uh, specify the spreadsheet here as your spreadsheet ID and if it has multiple pages you can also uh, specify which one, which page you want to use for this automation and uh, since my spreadsheet only has one page I'm going to use this one and table contains headers yes my table uh, has names as headers and uh, which row you want to use. These are already like specified automatically. And limit is important. Limit is um, you can put, for example, like 20 or um, 50 or whatever you want to specify. Uh, this is going to um, set the maximum number of results to be worked during one uh, execution cycle. So, um, for example, if you have um, if you are adding like 50 or 100 rows every 15 minutes, for example, uh, it will take that number of uh, rows into account when uh, when the automation gets triggered. So I'm going to uh, use 20 and I will be uh, hitting OK. And then you need to add another module and which is uh, going to be our own module, Text Cortex AI, and you will see four um, uh, action modules. So uh, we are going to be using Create Completion and Create Completion will allow you just one input field and that is your prompt. And before that, you will need a connection. Uh, so adding a connection is very easy. The only thing you need to have is your API key, which you can find uh, under your settings. Uh, you will need to go to API key. You need to click your API key. Uh, you need to copy your API key and then just paste it as your connection. And then um, you need to specify your prompt. And in this case, we will be using create a well structured article uh, from the following article name and now I'm going to specify the dynamic field which has um, which yeah column A in this case um, so you don't want to uh, specify all of these columns uh, you only need to specify whichever uh, column you're going to be you're going to use and uh, so in this case, column A and column B are important for, uh, for ourselves. And you need to click on OK then. And Text Cortex module will use that information based on your um, spreadsheet. And then you need to add one more uh, Google Sheets uh, module, which 
is going to update that respective role with the relevant information you want to have, which is the whole article. And now we are going to add this action here, update a role. Then you need to specify your connection again and uh, your spreadsheet ID once more, make.com and articles, which is the spreadsheet we are using for this, uh, for the sake of this video and sheet name, just one, we have one page and row number is important. Uh, we want this field to be dynamic. So that's why you need to just uh, insert this row number here. So whichever row number is uh, getting into account in this first step, that row number is going to be updated with this uh, third step again. And uh, yeah, you will see a lot of um, like all the columns here, but we just want to update one column, which uh, is column B for, for my case. And I want to update this column with the generated text that I have um, after Text Cortex has create, created an article for me. So after, after you put this, uh, that's pretty much it. You just hit OK. And the only thing you need is now, um, let's test it out. So after I run this trigger, yep, it's triggered all good and now i need to just add all of these uh article names and then let's run it yes as you can see the text is generated now and uh yeah text are getting generated just like i showed you in the first seconds of this video and that's pretty much it once you configure your automation, the only thing you need to do is just to turn a toggle on and that's it. Then the automation gets triggered with the time interval you specify and that could be like every 15 minutes, every half an hour or every hour. And within that time interval, how many uh, rows are added into the spreadsheet uh, will be taken into account and the respective cells and the respective within the respective columns will be updated with the new information text cortex has generated. And that's pretty much it. But before um, you start an automation like this, just keep in mind that this type of automation will only help you ease, the, uh, ease your content process and not fully replace the whole content production you still need to go over the generated text, generated articles, and fact check all of these information and put all of these information in a proper order with the, uh, with the tone you have for your brand or for your personal uh, blog. Don't expect uh, AI to fully replace your creativity. You have to make uh, adjustments and add your own flair, add your own tone to the generated texts. Just keep that in mind and let me know if you want to see more of these automation type of videos and let me know in the comments. And that was it from this video. Drop some likes, share some love because that's the best way to let me know if you wanna see more of this type of videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter to receive more than 200 AI prompts for Xenochat. And with that, I'll see you soon.